other side of the Atlantic, including the Declaration of Independence, where one of the grievances against King George was for imposing taxes on us without our consent. So I'm going to jump ahead a little bit here to, to uh, try to get through this quickly. But what I've noticed in my work uh, in politics is the higher you get up in the kind of the political hierarchy, the less likely you are to actually abide by your principles, fight for your principles, and really uphold your oath of office. And so really, uh, that lays the burden on you folks to keep people like me and my colleagues and those in elected office accountable. And what I've noticed is politicians are really no different than the people in general, including judges. They look for the path of least resistance. And think about water. Water always finds the path of least resistance and, of course, flows downhill. Well, if you want your elected people to follow the rules or follow the Constitution or pull their oath of office, what you need to do is you need to make their violation of their oath of office the most difficult path for them to take because you're on them like flies on, you know, whatever. And, uh, and the course of least resistance has then becomes upholding one's oath of office. And so I'm going to talk about, just real briefly, three people who were called to do that but didn't want